Hey, welcome back. So I did a video on this earlier and then uh, someone kindly pointed out that I created a duplex mismatch. And I'm going to be honest with you, duplex is something that I uh, and maybe many people take for granted uh, because the last time, I can't even remember the last time I saw a duplex mismatch. And I know that uh, in studying for exams and and uh, certifications and things like that years ago I know that you know we've gone over the duplex settings and everything like that but it's been so long since I've seen any errors that I I probably took it for granted I'm more worried about not exposing my version of PHP and Apache to the world than I am duplex mismatches so we did create a duplex mismatch I wanted to redo this video. Uh, what this video is going to do real quick is I had someone ask me if we could limit the Ethernet ports on their edge router PoE5. Uh, they've got uh, ETH1 goes to access points for um, wireless for clients. And then ETH2, 3, and 4 just have office machines and equipment plugged into it and can we throttle those to 10 meg he's got a 200 meg fiber link well, we can do that and we don't have to write quality of service rules to do it because he used the number 10 so uh, what we're gonna do is we're actually gonna set the link speed on this and previously I had set it at 10 full. Now that would work if I would switch the PC to 10 full, but if I'm not going to switch the other devices, I need to set this to 10 half. And the reason for that is because when auto negotiation occurs, and this is a, a good link that'll give you, I'll put this in the, the description. So the, the machines can detect speed, but they can't detect the duplex. And that's where the problem comes comes in so you can create collisions on the on the switch inadvertently so in this I will show you we're gonna set this to 10 half and let mother nature take its course you could of course set it to 10 full and I, I can show you where to do that but let's hop over here real quick we're gonna run this speed test and I did get rid of the experimental IP tables configuration that I was running uh, in the last video I was only getting about 30 meg download here you can see we're at 111 I went ahead and deleted those those uh, rules so you can see my I'm getting I'm getting the full speed of my service all right now I'm going to go over here and I'm going to stay away from that QoS tab and I'm going to come down here to where my PC is plugged in. I'm going to go to configure and right now it's set on auto negotiate. My workstation is also on auto negotiate so they will auto negotiate gig duplex. But now I'm going to force 10 half because at this point I'm not going to change the PC. I'll, I'll show you changing the PC here in just a second. All right, you can see our, th that is a pretty shade of purple, Ubiquity. I do like that. So you can see the link is up and we're at 10 half. And we're going to rerun this test. And you can see I'm creeping up towards 10 there, but I am definitely not going over. And this is, uh, has hard-coded the speed of that Ethernet port. see the same result on the upload okay so what we're gonna do now is I'm gonna set this to 10 excuse me 10 full but then we're gonna go over to the PC 
and we're also going to set it to 10 full C. And what you'll have to do is you'll have to go into the properties of your Ethernet adapter, and you have to go into uh, configure. And a lot of network adapters will have this extra configuration, but I'm going to go to speed and duplex, and instead of auto, I'm going to go to 10 full. I did try to set the edge router to 10 auto. It, it didn't let me do that uh, through the CLI. So now on the PC side, we are at 10 full. On the edge router, we're at 10 full. We'll rerun our speed test. So, and you can see, actually, when it's hard-coded to 10 full, we're actually getting a little bit better speed, closer to 10 on each side. So, uh, one more thing that I want to do is I do want to give a shout-out to Chris over at Crosstalk Solutions. Thanks for the subscriber push to get me to 500 to give away this IP camera. It does uh, have pan and tilt, night vision IRs. It is a 720p uh, IP cam it does have a mic so you can hear what's going on so when I hit 500 subscribers we are going to give that away thanks again Chris if you have any free PBX issues Chris is a free PBX master so go over to Crosstalk Solutions and check him out uh, he also does some ubiquity unboxings and he does some overviews and stuff like that I do enjoy Chris's videos and I hope to work with him on a collaboration in the future thanks to the uh, person that caught my du duplex uh, mismatch error and um, if you like the video please give a thumbs up please subscribe and we'll see you in the next video